Here there was an exchange of accusations between then New Orleans Council member Jay Banks and community activist Nooney Mann, whose real name is Belden Baptiste. Yeah, they called the police on each other on accusations that really went nowhere. But now the independent police monitor is questioning whether Banks got special treatment in the whole deal. Investigative reporter Mike Perlstein joining us now in studio with the very latest on this. Uh, Mike, what's going on? Well, Sharice, Katie, we all know that New Orleans politics is spicy, but in this case, the, once the NOPD was called, things were supposed to go by the book. The police monitor says that did not happen. Here's a councilman coming to my house and trying to bully me. Back in February 2021, then Councilman Jay Banks showed up at the house of Belden Nooney Man Baptiste after the two exchanged angry phone calls. Baptiste, a well-known community activist, is also known as a Mardi Gras Indian, twice candidate for office, and one of the organizers of the recall petition against Mayor LaToya Cantrell. In an interview shortly afterward, Banks denied trying to intimidate Baptiste. I asked him what was wrong, what was happening, and he was truly um, very adamant in cursing me. And, but at no point was he ever, ever, ever threatened by me in any way. Both men lodged misdemeanor disturbing the peace charges against the other, charges that were ultimately dismissed in municipal court. But the city's independent police monitor, Stella Cement, is not dismissing how the NOPD handled the matter. Yes, there were differences in how council member Jay Banks was treated versus Belden Batiste. In this recently released 18-page report, the monitor's office found bias in how Banks was allowed to receive a summons at the 1st District Police Station, while police attempted to serve Batiste summons at his home by half a dozen ranking officers. They brought him to the station, gave him a summons. They come to my house right after with seven cops. That's like intimidation and bullying when I called y'all. To have five officers, six officers show up in three different squad cars, that seems unnecessary to be able to serve a disturbing the peace, misdemeanor, municipal summons. Baptiste posted some of his encounter with the officers on Facebook. He ultimately refused the summons, picking it up later with his attorney as he lodged a complaint with the Public Integrity Bureau. PIB did investigate, clearing all of the officers. Cement came to a different conclusion. We found that um, some of the officers that were not unfounded for professionalism may have violated the professionalism allegation. The report contains other troubling findings. The initial 911 call made by Baptiste mysteriously went unrecorded, unlike all other 911 calls. That's particularly troubling when we're trying to get to the bottom of why there were so many officers at Mr. Batiste's home. And I think if we got a crime problem, why are all these sergeant lieutenants there for one misdemeanor summons? Now, we got a response from the NOPD just a short time ago. They stick by the PIB findings and say there was never any attempt to intimidate anyone. However, the spokesman did say that the department would review some of the monitor's policy suggestions. Katie and Charisse. All right, Mike, thank you.